welcome to St. Bede's TV. Isn't this unusual? We're probably going to have to get used to this because this is how we're going to have to communicate for a while. Hope you've all had a great week. I've got to say, it's, with the weather and everything else, it's felt a little bit like the Easter holidays. Um, and, and I'm sure you've managed to fill your time with lots of activities and uh, some, some children have still been at school because we're open for emergency workers, as you, as you know. Um, the idea of this is that we're going to do this program every Friday uh, because we want to stay connected and we want to stay uh, in touch and share stories and your pictures and all sorts of things that are going off uh, at home while we're during this school shutdown. Um, I guess this will only work if you share your stories or you share your pictures or the projects that you're working on or anything like that. So this email G sharp at St. Beads Catholic Primary .uk is going to be the new way uh, of you sending us your pictures and, and uh, all the various bits of information. Now, you've probably not got an email account yourself, so you'll have to use the account um, from mum and dad or the trusted adult that you're living with. Just get them to take the picture or upload the video uh, and send it to me. Uh, th there are other ways, if there are really big files, we can do things like Dropbox and whatnot. Um, but we, we're desperate to get your photos and see what you're doing and just all stay connected uh, that way. So on that, I think we ought to have a look at uh, the photos that have come in this week. So this first one that came in, it came in from Liliana Lukaj and there she is working with her dad uh, in the backyard there. It looks like she's doing some DIY. Uh, it's great because these are the things that you never normally probably would do. And Liliana's helping her dad there. Now I couldn't, looking at that closely, I couldn't exactly see what was going on. I, I didn't know whether she was making sort of a, a go-kart. Um, it wasn't clear, so Liliana's mum did clarify that for us. Uh, and what it turns out to be is that uh, Liliana's dad's hurt his back and uh, is struggling to get around. So she's actually making him there a wheelchair. It's got little wheels on the bottom uh, and she's going to be able to push him around. Uh, and the reason she's doing that is that she said the doctors are already busy enough helping other people. Uh, so that's really very considerate and caring. Um, and what we'd like to do probably is see that in action. Maybe you could send her the fi a finished item picture. Uh, next up, we've got Esme. Esme, um, Esme has been doing what what uh, you see in crop up a lot now. The uh, rainbow pictures in the window that we're supporting each other and we're thinking about each other. Uh, and again, we'd expect that from Esme. That's a lovely thing to see. Millie's up next. Um, Millie Forward. She's there doing her maths on her iPad. That's really good. And as you can see, Millie's done a, a rainbow picture in her art book. And I'm sure as time goes by, that art book will get thicker and thicker and we'd love to see that when it's done. Now, I know a lot of people have been tuning into the Joe Wicks uh, fitness class every morning on YouTube. I think that takes place at half nine. I know Mr. Mr. Freeman's been getting involved and so many of you have as well. Here you can see Violet. Uh, she's been doing the exercises and taking part every day. Um, I'm guessing Violet's having to do with that for if she's eating that big giant cookie, she might have to be doing a little bit more exercise to burn that off uh, that's great to see although she does look worn out but at the end there and quite a few other pictures have come in uh, of, of you all doing your fitness at home uh, it's difficult to make out who some of these people are because we've only seen the, the backs of heads but um, I think I recognize the Howitt boys there although I can't see Mrs Howitt or Mr Howitt for that matter maybe they were still in their pajamas and didn't want to be seen on camera um, but brilliant to see so many of us trying to keep fit in our homes. And as we mentioned, school is still open for the children of key workers, people who work at the hospital and supermarkets and things like that. Um, so school have sent a few pictures through as well. Here are some children taking advantage of the uh, outdoor good weather, uh, as well as joining in the Joe Wicks exercise in the morning. Uh, and there's been lots of activities. I think what's good to see there is a real good mix of ages. Mrs McDowell there, not quite sure what she's doing, but she's uh, taking all precautions with her safety mittens on. Very good. 
and that learning is carrying on at home as you can see here um, whether it's baking or writing or it looks to be a bit of uh, biology and, and Paris reading her books absolutely brilliant that's exactly what what we need to do I think the trick with uh, getting through these next few weeks while school's closed is that we do a, a, a wide range of activities whether it's reading or, or cooking or trying your hand at DIY uh, as well as doing some of your schoolwork as well try and vary your day and do as many activities as you can and there are some really good examples there just like Seth and Wilf they've got a timetable of events taking place here a bit of a schedule to keep them used to a school day that's really good and they're, they're creating their um, rainbow using a mosaic although it doesn't look as calm in the K household uh, they look to have had a fair few wild animals and visitors in their front room very clever use of augmented reality there perhaps you would uh, Maybe like to do us a little tutorial video of how you did that. Looks great fun. Agnes and Paula are doing uh, their activities as well, from keep fit to their very neat handwriting, and then they're both doing the baking there, and even a spot of gardening. Absolutely brilliant pictures. And even though it was after the deadline, Mrs. Rhodes sent us these great pictures uh, of the Rhodes children. In fact, I saw I saw the family out. We kept our social distance. I was walking Cooper and. Uh, they were out as a as a family taking a stroll. We'll let Mrs. Rhodes off for being late because she did go to the trouble of making them uh, like this. And, and like I said, it's a really unusual time and everybody seems to be active and doing all sorts of activities uh, and rallying round to help each other and make sure that we're all okay. Everyone except for this man. Yes, as you can see, it's Mr. Swan. Um, there's nothing unusual about this, actually. This is what Mr. Swan does. He opens a few doors in the morning uh, and then he goes and just lays in his garden till about three o'clock. More often than not, it's, it's Mr. Swan taking a photograph of Mrs. Swan asleep. She's finally got her own bag. Well done to you, uh, Mrs. Swan. And like I say, now we want to see as many pictures as you can, uh, video clips, anything like that that you want to send in. Put the email address up again, gsharp at stbscatholicprimary.co.uk. Ask a trusted adult to send the pictures in or, or the little video clips. Um, because it really will help us all stay connected and it helps us see familiar faces. Um, speaking of video clips. Uh, this first one's a great little video. It's from Kajik. Um, still doing some schoolwork at home and he's turned his hand to poetry. Uh, and I think the good weather has probably helped inspire him uh, with this poem all about spring. Here he is. Hi guys, it's me, Kizik, and here is a poem I read on my first day of homeschooling and I would like to share it with you. Beautiful spring, beautiful spring, here comes a new season, I'm really happy and now I've got a reason. Beautiful spring, when flowers start to bloom, nothing will be described with gloom. Beautiful spring, I can smell it in the air, out of them comes the hair. Beautiful spring, I just want to say, stay happy and don't be afraid to play. Beautiful spring, that's all. And thank you for watching this and take care. Well done Kajik, that's brilliant. Uh, try and do one of those every single week if you can, that would be really, really good. Now this is probably the time that um, Esme might want to grab a pillow so she can hide behind because it's embarrassing mum and dad time. Not only did Mrs. Barraclough send us that uh, picture of Esme, she also sent um, what she described as I think was really cool mum and dad. I told you it was embarrassing Esme, but we do like to see mums and dads getting involved as well, so keep them coming in. Uh, here we've got Wolf and Seth back again. They're doing their bit of Joe Wicks. Guys, say hi to Mr. Sharp. Hi, Mr. Sharp. And Mr. Sharp. We're just doing some Joe Wicks. A massive circle with your hands. <laughs> and there's some footage from inside school. I believe Rotherham United came to do some coaching. <laughs>
Freeman uh, did a little bit of a challenge earlier on in the week. Now, I'm not quite sure how well this will go down because it involves um, toilet roll and football. This is what he did. Apparently, Mrs. Wassell's son's also tried that at home and there's been quite a bit of damage done. Um, probably a good idea to do it outside. And if you haven't got a football or anything like that and you have to use the toilet roll, uh, use it sparingly, maybe. Now, not one to turn down a challenge, the O'Connor family thought that they would have a go at it. Good on you, Beth. <laughs> oh, Oliver, Oliver, I don't think you'll ever live that down, but. Hey ho. Now I've got one favour to ask. This is a I think most of us probably know this, but I want you to uh share this with mum and dad or whoever's taking the videos. So many people are taking photographs and videos with their phones or their iPads that way in portrait mode. And we never do that. We never do that. And the reason that we don't do that is that two thirds of your screen don't actually get filled. You just get that horrible black line. So can I ask, please, that if you're taking photos or any sort of video, is that you always film or take pictures in landscape mode uh, and then they'll fill this screen and we can see things far clearer. Like I said, most of us probably know that. And that's a little tip for mum and dad. Thank <laughs> you.
Now, as we've seen in the photos, there's, there's um, a lot of opportunity to try new things while school is closed, maybe DIY or baking. I know there's been lots of cleaning going on. Um, maybe you want to help out in the garden, all sorts of new skills that you can uh, learn. But there is still going to be schoolwork so that you can keep your academic skills up to speed uh, and your class web page will be updated very regularly. Uh, so it's well worth checking in on that to see what's what. But as part of this little program every Friday, what I'm going to do uh, is set you a fresh weekly challenge uh, and hopefully quite a few of you will want to get involved. So this first weekly challenge, wherever you look, there are logos everywhere, aren't there? We have one as a school, just about anything that you buy, every company has one. Um, but one place that doesn't have one is St. Bede's Church. So the challenge for this week is, can you design a logo for St. Bede's Church? Um, don't worry about how you do the entry, you could draw it on paper, if you can do it digitally, that will help. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. All you need to do is either take a screenshot or take a picture of your entry uh, and send it in to, um, to me on the email address and we'll um, we'll probably pick the best five and maybe even try and get them to Father John and he can be the judge and pick the winner of our first weekly challenge. Um, maybe, I'm not saying he'll use one, but uh, I'll, I'll use my digital skills as well and we'll uh, transform it with the computer um, and we'll get it so that it's finished and polished and look perhaps just like ours. There's lots of scope when it comes to designing a logo. I think, uh, now I might be wrong on this, but I think our current logo as a school was designed by uh, Mrs. Wolf, who was my teacher and NUK's grandma. Uh, brilliant job and we all know it so well, our logo. But don't rush into doing this. Don't just pick up a pen and paper today and start doing it. Maybe you might want to do some research. There's lots of things that you could discover about St Bede. There's lots of things about the church and the building itself. I'm sure Father John would like to see some stained glass in there with all this new stained glass that had gone in. Um, so maybe spend the first day or two doing your research about the building, about St Bede, uh, and that might help you decide what your logo is going to look like. It's a great way for you to be creative and um, come up with some brilliant designs. Send them in and we'll announce the winner next Friday. So as well as a fresh weekly challenge, I also want to introduce today the long haul challenge. The long haul means this is going to take a long time. The closing date for entries into this uh, will be September, when we all hopefully go back to school uh, for the new academic year, if not before. Now, as you can see behind me, this bookshelf is empty, and that is our digital bookshelf as it stands at this moment in time. With the new iPads and, and all the uh, technology that we're introducing at St Bede's, we need to fill this bookshelf. So the long haul challenge is for everyone who wants to take part to actually write a book. Now this book could be a story, it could be uh, characters that you make up, it could be a joke book, or it could be a book about facts and things like that. So the idea of the book challenge would be to, to maybe work on your book an hour a day, something like that. You might want to write fantasy stories like Dungeons and Dragons or, or maybe even the next Harry Potter style story. Or it could just be a book about your favourite thing. The idea is that we work on these books. Uh, I'm going to do one as well. Uh, and then we can submit them to our digital library in September. Now, don't worry about how you make the book. We can do them when we get back to school. What would just be important is, is writing it down. So if you have to uh, write it in a book, uh, on paper, whatever, that's fine. We can sort all that out when we get back to school. 
But if you have got access to an iPad or a computer and you are able to type them up, or maybe take advantage of apps like uh, iBook Creator, or, or there's a great section now within Pages that will help you make a book. Uh, for, for quite a simple book, you, you can use things like Book Creator. Lots and lots and lots of scope to make these books. Uh, what matters is that we use this time to capture our ideas, to write down, and you never know, we might have the next JK Rowling in school, might go on to be a multi-million pound bestseller. So I'll check in regularly about the long haul challenge. Um, if you want to send in work or, or, or give us an update on how you're doing, we'd love to see how the books are progressing. Don't try and write the book within a week because that kind of defeats the purpose. This is uh, something that you can work on every day uh, over a long period of time. Uh, to produce a really really good book by September and if you're feeling really creative I know the likes of Olivia Hayter brilliant illustrators you can if you want to maybe even draw all the pictures that are going to go in the book as well now the one added bonus about having all this extra time at home during the school closure is that you've probably got more time than ever to devote uh, and really enhance your creative skills through your art. Uh, I know I certainly have been doing a little bit of art every day um, and Mr Freeman sent me this picture and I'm not entirely sure who did it. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think I think it might be Gracie uh, but you'll have to correct me on that if not. It's very, very good. I guess if you know you've got a dog that has that teddy bear that it likes to chew, uh, you'll know that it's you. But we need to give you the credit. Uh, so do let me know. Contact us and, and, and let me know. And here's some work from uh, Young Learners in Foundation. They've been making some cards uh, while they're in school. Again, on the rainbow theme, just to show that we're all thinking of each other. And this one was sent to us by Ethan's mum, Ethan in class nine. Again, showing his support with the rainbow. If you've got the luxury of an iPad, one really good app is to use Sketchbook Pro, uh, or is it called Autodesk Sketchbook? That was its old name. If you just type in Sketchbook, uh, in the App Store, uh, it'll take you to these sets of results, and that's the one that you're looking for. I use this all the time. It's my favourite app. And when we do get back to school, this is what we'll be using uh, on the class iPads uh, a lot more because the pencils have arrived uh, and we can really start to develop our, our art skills. I finished, a, I tried to draw every day and, and, and I finished a little project just yesterday. Uh, one of my little pals in Key Stage 2 set me the challenge of could I draw the alphabet uh, of Simpson characters from A, A to Z. And there were a couple of tricky ones, but I think I just about managed to do it.
how it can be done. Although why I think is a bit trickier. This is a bit of a cheat, but uh, that was the only one I could get. If you thought it might be useful to have uh, me do tutorials on uh, Sketchbook Pro or, or any of the other apps for that matter, if, you, if you're struggling to get your head around how to make them work or whatever, uh, do let me know. Again, can't get your parents to contact me on that email address and we can do uh, all sorts of tutorial videos just to help you uh, make the most of the time that you've got with your technology. Now, of course, things are very different at the moment. Probably birthday parties have been cancelled and things put on hold. I don't know how you have a, a social distancing birthday party. Maybe it's having to be done by FaceTime or whatever. Um, it's a real shame if that, that is happening. Uh, so to help celebrate your birthday, do again get in touch uh, and we can give you a special mention on here um, in our weekly roundup on a, on a Friday. I've not known or been told about any birthdays in the last week, except for one. Uh, there was one very, very special birthday. Uh, it was from Father Brebner. Yesterday, Father Brebner was 80 years of age. So many, many reasons to celebrate, as he would say. Um, tonight, Mrs. Wassell and my mum and myself, we were supposed to be taking Father out for a meal to celebrate his birthday but of course that's all been cancelled we're not able to do it uh, so to father brebner on behalf of all of us at st Bede's, happy 80th birthday and we will definitely still take you out for that meal uh, when we're allowed out so that's about it for now um d d this show can go on for two hours long if you want to uh but that will only happen if you send us your videos send us your little clips things that will make us laugh anything to lift the spirits of the entire school community it might be a joke uh, it might be a quick clip uh, a, a dance routine anything that will just keep us all connected and uh, it's great to see so many familiar faces maybe even we could do a staff challenge i think it'd be a really good idea um so i'll i'll start this off and then you could perhaps nominate someone for next week uh, so i'll say to, to mrs mcdool could you do us a, a, a little video of you singing your favourite Elvis song? We'd love to hear that. I'm missing, that's one of the things I'm missing, hearing you go around school uh, singing Elvis constantly. Uh, so if you could sing us a song, record it, uh, and we'll show that to everyone next week. And, and you, you send your suggestions in. Maybe Mrs Taylor reading a nursery rhyme or... Mrs. Wassell doing a cartwheel, whatever it is you can think of. Send your suggestions in and we'll uh, we'll get those members of staff to do it. Okay, just one last thing, uh, and it's quite serious really, I guess. We are all at home. We're probably online a lot more than we would be normally. Uh, and although that can be great fun, it can also be... Um, well, it, it presents certain dangers and difficulties at times. So it's really important that you remember everything that you've been taught in your e-safety lessons. Be kind to each other online. Report anything that uh, you, you know you, that you don't like, whether it's the in-app reporting system or you can uh, report it to school through the ordinary channels. Um, don't be posting things and, and, and sharing things uh, that you might then later be embarrassed about. Remember what we talked about with a digital footprint. It's very important that that doesn't uh, cause you problems in later life. Remember what we spoke about before about the, the Nanan test. Would you be happy for your Nanan to see the picture or the video? Uh, if the answer is no, then it probably shouldn't go up there as well. Uh, but just be kind to each other. Maybe make the effort to FaceTime someone in your class, someone perhaps who you wouldn't ordinarily do or, or contact them. Um, we need to keep our, our spirits high and look after each other in that respect. Um, but also look out for each other as well. Because if you are, and Mrs Wassell wants me to stress this particular point, if you are needing help from school, all the teachers are still available and are still working, so if you need help or you perhaps feel in danger or someone in your family is, is in immediate danger, you can still use things like the SHARP system. 
student help and reporting page that's that's here on the internet if you just go to our home page and go all the way down there you can see the sharp system that enables you to make a report totally in private no one will will, will know and it's very important that you put your details on there as well though we have a had a few anonymous sharp system reports in the past which make it very difficult for us to help um so with the increased time you're spending at home if and i'm not talking about a little fallout perhaps with your brother or your sister or if mum tells you off because uh, you're not doing as you're told or whatever this is if you if you're in real danger or you need help um maybe your family aren't able to get food or something like that use the sharp system email mrs wassell directly email me uh, and we will make sure that someone comes to help you or you might just want you might just want to talk to someone uh, mrs mcdowell will still be available on the phone things like that very important that we uh, make sure that everyone is safe well and happy while they're at home so that's about it for this week um please please keep all your pictures your videos uh, remember the weekly challenge if you want to design a logo for st Bede's church get that in within the week ideally if you can get everything to me by maybe a wednesday afternoon that would be really great and if you can practice mr freeman's key pop toilet roll challenge in safety that is maybe outside in your garden uh, then we'd love to see those clips as well it's going to take some getting used to and we might have to get used to it for a long while but it is essential to keep us all safe and and if we stick to the rules we can get back to school much sooner than we hoped have a great week and i'll see you next friday